Today I want to show you an algorithm I've developed. Uh, this algorithm is designed for IG's spread betting platform. And essentially the, the idea is to create working orders for both sides on a single instrument. So that would be creating a working order for a long position and create a working order for a short position on a single instrument before the market opens. So if I explain this further, so let's say you have an instrument I. It has a spread, uh, this being the ask, uh, this being the bid, the idea would be to make a long order here and a short order here before the market opens. So the idea is that, let's say this is the average price, uh, X. If the price goes above here, then you know that this spread has surpassed a long order and therefore has filled the long order. And so when the market starts trading, you know you're in profit. So you can exit out there immediately. Vice versa, if the X goes below S, so the short order, so if this spread goes below the S order, then you know that you're you're in profit because you've surpassed your short entry order and you're in a profit zone. So that you know you can either set up a, a trading stop loss here to increase profits or just exit out immediately and take whatever profits you've got. So that's the idea. I've tested out in, in the D in um, in IG's d uh, demo platform. And you can see that we started from here, yeah, market opened at 8, 8, 8 a.m., so there's a loss, profit, 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 loss. And we've made about £8, because initially at this point, I reset the, uh, our funds to £10,000. So in the demo environment, you can change your funds. Yeah, so that's the idea. Okay, so the code I developed for this algorithm goes as follows. So this is, this is the, the base code I built, so this is essentially um, it's more of where the program gets called. So you call it from here, it then runs through these, these sub-functions, and it's actually implemented here. So just to give you a rough outline of what it, what it does. Yeah, so essentially you have a function here that checks the working orders. Um, you have a signal generation here to work out whether something is worth creating orders for. And then here, the orders are actually placed. Okay, so to break them down even further, um, because of the diagram I showed before, or not really a diagram, but image, each instrument, let's say I, has to have two orders, both in the opposite direction. So for that, checking here essentially validates that. So we get all working orders, and then we just check that these orders are both along, so in this case, they call them buy on IG site, and a short, which is called a sell on IG site. Checks the market hasn't been opened, check the market time is still valid, so the market still hasn't opened yet, and check there's no position already existing under that instrument. You then got this function here that checks the opening times. Based on our previous video I made that showed how to get all inst uh, IG's instrument data, we build a data frame from that, so we're using that data frame here. We work out whether the market's about to open and whether it is profitable to open. So what I found was the ideal instrument to use are the ones with the very small spread. So here we've we've calculated the spread above, but here we're just kind of filtering the data by that value. So yeah, we're doing some more logic. And here we place the the orders above or below the spread. And here we create the orders. So some more error, error, um, error checking and just looking at any other possible outcomes. And here we're generating the orders. And then here we're checking whether the orders were actually made because IG does have a lot of... Um, sometimes it can get confused with the orders that you're sending across, especially if they're quite fast paced. So if the, if the stop loss or the limit aren't in the correct place or your size isn't correct, then they will kind of throw errors quite quite blatantly, so it's, it's worthwhile having an error check just after you've created orders. So yeah, um, that's kind of surrounds it. There are, in, in tandem with this program, there are two other programs running. One's a stop loss, which I showed in another video, which was the IG API implementation of, of code. It's just a generic one, but essentially just it's just a generic stop loss. Uh, I can customize it to my own needs as opposed to the stop loss on IG site. And um, So you can see this is still running, and with that running, we've managed to generate these orders that we deem are 
going to be profitable. And yeah, I'll show you a time lapse of the orders that were generated before and how they filled their position. So the algorithm itself is quite profitable on the demo account uh, with the variables I've put in. Um, so that being the 200 margin that every instrument needs to either be equal to or below that. And it works pretty well. Uh, 8 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. were the most profitable um, in, in terms of this algorithm working. Now, however, when I tried this on the live site, so IG's live spread betting site, it didn't quite go to plan. So IG classes this um, this jump. So this this jump from here to here, IG classes that as slippage. Now, if you create an order like like I've done here, and the price moves somewhere about here, now they will say that what, what they'll do is they'll open your position at the point of the new price. So your order will physically move from where it is placed here to the opening price. So that could be so let's say a company's just said it's going into liquidation and the short the share price drops dramatically. It will open your short order all the way down wherever the price opens. So if it is liquidation, then it'll probably be somewhere about here. But it will move that order physically down here because they don't class these as as normal orders. They class them as entry orders, which essentially means that they will be entered or opened at any price. And and these orders are a requirement. They must be open if the price hits them. That that's the logic that they at IG see it. So their kind of advice was to to avoid these types of scenarios, which isn't ideal. But this algorithm doesn't necessarily work with this. I mean, maybe you could have a go. Maybe it was just my experience with the instrument, but it didn't work with this. So this algorithm works in works in the demo account, but doesn't work in life. Yeah. A bit annoying, but I know. Yeah, so I, if you want a deep dive of how this code actually works, just let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.